Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory go to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Rukakwadash, double honor unto the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, that rule well and that taught us his truth. Salutations to the sincere Achim out there that are going out on the highways and hedges to prophesy the downfall of this wicked queen, the man, which is ruled by the Edomites, the so called white man, you know, in the, in the world now, you know, calls the, 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 the Caucasians, the. Uh, you know, like I said, the white man, they are truly the Edomites, man, that the Bible speaks of. You know, and we, Jacob descendants, are going to pull them down, man. You know, this, their time is up, man. They, they're they going to go into captivity for all the wickedness that they have done against the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shai, and his people, man. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, their time is up, man. You know, the whore is... Uh, you know, on our last time, man, time's up for uh, for America and for uh, NATO and the EU, man. You know, this whole beast system is about to perish. And, you know, the deadly wound that was healed, you know, the Roman Empire that is revived again, you know, is going to go out the window real quick, man. You know, and it's, now she's going to be put down and stay down like... Uh, Revelation 18, you know, um, you see Jeremiah 51, Jeremiah 50, uh, Isaiah 47. There's many chapters that speak about the end of this uh, damn queendom, you know. But uh, we're gonna uh, gonna go into some, you know, we're out here on the highways and hedges, you know, and also in our homes teaching about the the return of uh, Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai is gonna come back for his elect, and these devils know it, man. These devils know that their time is about to be up, you know, as this uh, video. Let me just play the clip, man. And, uh... Vanish. If Perhaps we need some outside universal threat. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. So these devils know... That Yahweh Shai is coming back, man. Let me just jump in that. It's truly, uh, I had something else set up, but hey, I'll just flow with the spirit, man. This is uh, Revelation 13, verse, uh, let me say, start at uh, verse 1. Then 2nd Esther 13 and then 1. And it came to pass after seven days, I dreamed a dream by night. And lo, there arose a wind from the sea that it moved all the, wave, the waves thereof. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. And when he turned his countenance to look, all things trembled that were seen under him. And as this is seeing the, the return of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, man, and that's beautiful. You know, and these devils, they know that Yahweh Shai is coming back, man, with his uh, chariots, you know, to render judgment to this uh, damn devil, man. He's going to come back with the fathership, you know, and he's going to bring his uh, fury, you know, in the spirit of uh, the Heavenly Father, man, because, hey, Yahweh Shai is mad. Yahweh Shai is mad. The day of vengeance is in, in his heart. It's uh, um, Isaiah 63 states, man, because these Edomites, the so-called white man, they're going to go and pay. They have a large stab, man, you know, but uh, let me just uh, go back to the scriptures, man. Um, verse 4, and when, when, uh, Salachia, and when soever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice, like as the earth faded when it faded fire, uh, when it faded the fire. So, you know, the, 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 the chariot is going to do some blasting, man. And after this I beheld, and lo, they were gathered together as... Uh, a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of the heaven that's uh, to subdue the man that came out of uh, that came out of the sea so let me calm down you know it's a beautiful thing to 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 visual, uh, visualize man that that the lord is returning with his ship and you know to uh, bring you know peace um for his own people and you know the sword for the enemies man because it's going to be a terrible day that is, uh, you know, the curse upon this, uh, upon the face of the earth, the chariots, the curse for these damn devils and a blessing and, uh, you know, a, a beautiful sight 
to see for our people, man, that are waiting upon the Lord, just like in the days of slavery, that uh, you know our people was uh, was were singing, "Swing low, the sweet chariot, coming forth to take uh, to carry me home, man." You know we already know about the chariots in in the spirit, you know, but th these damn devils, and of course, also also according to the punishment that the heavenly Father has, has laid down upon us, you know, we forgot who we were, man. You know, through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahushai, we have re regained that mercy to know who Yahweh is, who Yahweh Shai is, so we can pray in the right names and, you know, uh, ask for mercy and ask for the strength and ask for salvation, man. You know, Yahara the are of that number that are, uh, you know, going to be saved out of this hellhole, you know, and the rest, you know, are going to be destroyed, man. If you're not of the elect, you don't have no place in the, in 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 um, basically in the salvation of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, but you're gonna be you know blasted to powder, man. But uh, let me just jump back and go to uh, verse uh, six. But I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew upon it. You know Yahweh Shai, he flew upon the ship, man. But I would. Uh, would have seen the region or place where out the hill was graven and I could not it was so the shit was so big and all that I just could not even see the, the you know he couldn't really describe what was going on man you know because the brother said you open up a portal portal and the, the, the chariots will come man the, the chariots of the heavenly father are you know thousands upon thousands man and let me see if I can find the picture of, uh, <laughs> you know, this is, this is crazy how, how, how big, man. And it was already in a, a picture from, uh, was it NASA, if I'm correct, that showed the chariot that was bigger than the earth, you know? So these devils know damn well what's going on, man. You know, Yahweh Shai is coming back, man. He's going to coming back for, you know, for his elect. You know, and he's going to destroy all these damn devils and the, 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 you know, the enemies of the Lord, man. You know, so you need to think about that. That chariot is, so like if we're jumping up and down, that that chariot is so big that it is bigger than the earth. So like, let me, so that's a, this, this devil has, you know, he has, uh, he best give, give up, man. But the fun part is the most I ain't going to let him give up. So let me continue to read. Um, in verse uh, uh, verse 8. And after, after this I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were sore afraid, and yet there's fight. So, yeah, afraid, but, you know, they still, uh, you know, were, were like, let me just pick up the gun and let me just fight, you know. Get in the army, get the army together, boom, in the tanks, airplanes, whatever they're going to use, man. Esau, uh, you know, the, the Lord is going to put the spirit in Esau to fight, man. You know, because the Lord is a man of war, as the scriptures say. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand, nor held sword, nor any instru instrument of war. But only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire, you know, and out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests, you know, blazing these 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 armies up, man, you know, because when the Lord comes back, he's gonna come back with the chariot and he's gonna do some blasting, man. That that concentrated fire, man. A lot of spaceships is coming back to this earth, man. You know, blasting up the people, doing some uh, damage and saving the hopeful elect, man. Let me see where I can uh, get that, uh, you know. This is a beautiful, the chair has been all over the scriptures, man. All over the scriptures, man. Um, let me see where I can find that, that other picture again. You know, this is also a beautiful one. Oops. You know, for the ones that are going to be on the good side of the Lord, y'all are including me, man. Because, <laughs> you know, you don't want no problems with Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. 
you see that 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 blasting came out of the mouth that that centerpiece you know is gonna do some burning man so um to continue Uh, out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests, verse 11, and they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude that was prepared to fight, and burned them up every one, so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude nothing was to be perceived, but only dust and smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was, uh, I was afraid. And this is uh, beautiful. This is the, the, the future of these devils. And that's why Reagan was saying that, yeah, we have to put aside our differences, uh, you know, or whatever he was saying. And basically point our weapons upon, uh, you know, uh, into the sky, man. But Revelation 1, the Lord's going to come with, with, with fire, man. Revelation 1 verse 7, behold, he cometh with clouds. And every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. That means that them bastards are going to be in the earth that pierced the Lord, man. You know, and all kindreds of the earth shall will because of him, even so am I. So you see that the Lord's going to come back with his uh, chariots, man. And it's going to be a lot of chariots. Let me see if we can find it in the book of Psalms uh, 68 and 17. Call all Yahweh Basham Yahushai. The chariots of Yahweh Basham Yahushai are twenty thousands, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. The sky is going to be covered with chariots, man. It's going to be a sight to see, man. And these devils, they are going to be scared because their pilots are already coming out and saying like they just, you know, play with us, man. You know, is they can stop, you know, disappear, you know, take other shapes. Just stop, go up, go back, go down, whatever they want. They are defying the laws of gravity, man. So um, let me end it with Isaiah. It's going to be a quick hit. Isaiah. I also need to charge up. Let me charge up. Yeah, so Isaiah 66, verse uh, 14. Let me see. Verse, four, uh, verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So it's going to come with fire and with anger. It's going to be destruction, man. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So the slain of the Lord shall be many, man. A lot of people are going to die when Yahweh Shai comes back, man. So the Lord is going to come with his sword he is not going to bring bring peace. It's going to be a very gloomy day when the Lord returns, man. You know? So, if you go to Amos, was it? Uh, let me see. Where was it? Amos 5 and 18. Woe unto you the desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? Because these Christians think that this is going to be a day where, you know, Caesar Bajer is going to float in the air, have roses in his hands or in the flower in his mouth. You know, it's, it's not going to be like that, man. The Lord's going to come back with his fire like I just read, you know. The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. And is uh, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into a house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. You're going to be in trouble, man. You're going to be, it's, it's trouble going to be all around you, man. Shall not the day of the Lord, Yahweh, be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it. So it's going to be a very terrible, terrifying day, man. And even the, you know, the righteous is going to be scarcely safe, man. You know, let me see. Uh, let me see. Where was it again? Wait me for a moment. It was the five. Let me see. Uh, 
one right over it. This is uh, 1 Peter 4, verse 18. Let me go into it, man. 1 Peter 4, uh, verse 17. For the time has come, the judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? So, you know, if you do not obey the Heavenly Father, you're going to be in trouble, man. We, you're going to be punished for all the wickedness that you have done. And the Most High is going to judge his people. But what? With, what's, going, what's going to be the end of the people that are against the Heavenly Father, man? If the Most High is correcting his people, you know, judging his people, what's going to be happening to the people that are against the Heavenly Father, man? They're going to be in a world of pain, man, you know? And if the righteous be scarcely saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? So, hey, man. <laughs> Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of Yahweh commit to uh, commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as unto a faithful creator. You know, you need to do your best to be on the good side of the Lord, man. And ask for repent of, to, for forgiveness, you know, for mercy, man. And the Lord uh, will have that mercy upon you. You know, when he will visit the earth, man, you know, and he will give you that crown and that, that reward, man, instead of, uh, you know, the, the, the sword, you know, or all types of, uh, you know, um, ways of punishing you because of uh, your wickedness, man. So we need to repent, man, because the day of the Lord is at hand, man. So we need to really be be thinking let me just also go into that man. Uh, first Peter, Salah, Second Peter, three, verse ten. Uh, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a, with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are, that are therein shall be burned up. So it's going to be burned up, not only by the chariots but also by thermal nuclear fire, man. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? So not according to the old man, you know, busy with nonsense, but in all holy conversation and godliness, man, doing the things that are well-pleasing unto Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, looking for and hastening. You know, desire, hasting is, uh, you know, you... Desiring earnestly for the day of Yahweh Basham Yahushai to appear, because we are in the, in the year of hastening to the coming of the day of Yahweh Basham Yahushai, man. Hastening the day of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Let me go into the word hasting, spudo, in the Greek to haste, make haste, to desire earnestly, you know. Here it goes into speed, the, to speed, study, i.e. urge on diligently or earnestly by implication to await eagerly. You know, we are waiting. The Lord, we want the Lord to return, man. You know, and we need to push out this truth, you know, because no one will have an excuse, you know, no cloak for the sins. Everyone will know and whether they hear or forbear, hey. The deceived and the deceiver are his, man. It's, it's, it's all by the will of Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai. But we are hastening the day by putting out videos, putting out, going out on the highways and hedges, you know, studying, you know, bonding with the Achyam, you know, letting brotherly love continue. And, you know, we are praying, man, you know. So looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of, of Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. You know, so we are looking forward to the kingdom of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. You know, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. And that's what we uh, are, where we are longing for, man, because here we have no continual uh, 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 staying, basically. This is not our rest, man. You know, we're looking for, let me just go to it before I butcher it even more. Hebrews 13, verse 14. Um, for here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come, because Esau didn't them defiled everything. You know, this is not our kingdom. This is not our rest, as Micah, you know, uh, 2 and 10 also states, man. But we are looking for, uh, you know, that, that kingdom which will continue forever, like in uh, Daniel 2, verse 44 and 45, man. 
and that will not be left to other people, but you know, it will be ruled by Yasha Allah, man, in righteousness. And that's what we are waiting for, man, that Yahweh Shai will put these uh, damn crooked, you know, wicked leaders out of uh, their seat of rulership. And, you know, that we, Yahweh Zah, you know, uh, can rule over our enemies, man, and live in peace among, uh, you know, our own people. So, yeah, man, with that, I hope you were edifying Yahweh Zah to the next video. Shalom.